Hey guys, if you're tired of shopping on Amazon and the big box stores for cheap quality landscape lighting, then go and check out lightingdoctor.ca where we only sell premium quality fixtures that we actually install and you can actually have the chance to go and test it and feel it for yourself with our try it before you buy it offer where you can get a premium quality landscape light at a discounted rate and go and test it out with a battery pack around your property. Keep it for 14 days. If you love it, you get to keep it at the discounted rate. If not, you send it back for a full refund and then you just have to buy the lights that you need after that. So go and check out our try it before you buy it lights and see what a real premium quality landscape lighting picture should look like at lightingdoctor.ca. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this real quick. If you see here, we got this bed area um, and this was an area that was totally isolated uh, that we couldn't get wired to really. We got this nice, beautiful brick walkway here, but uh, we're out on Vancouver Island where it is an island and most of it's rock and we, there's just no way we could tunnel underneath that sidewalk without going super deep and totally messing up the garden. So what we did is if you uh, see behind me here um, on this bush that goes up and then across the doorway here and then back down, uh, what we did is we actually used the gutter and we actually ran wire up the gutter, over the doorway and down into this bed here. Uh, and we were easily able to do that. And now we didn't have to tear up the whole garden, but we can get power here and still keep all our lights on the same transform transformer. So sometimes you got to be a little creative with how you get wire to different areas, um, but there's always a way. And you'd never even know that that wire's there because where we came back down in the bed is right behind a trellis that we ended up uh, highlighting and featuring anyway that uh, you guys can't tell from the video, but I can see it's starting to look really, really good. So I'm glad we lit that up. And that wire is totally hidden you'd have no idea how we got that wire there. So sometimes you gotta be a little creative. You don't always have to go into the sidewalk. So think of alternative ways. Hey guys, I just wanted to explain about um, something that we do all the time. It doesn't matter how many thousands of lights we put in, it's still a good idea. Uh, luckily we got on this property, we got here the night before, and the first thing we did is we took our lights and the King Innovation um, Instalite that we throw in all our kits, you can get it with our Try Before You Buy a Kit, which is basically this battery pack um, that you can just plug your lights into. And that first night before we even, even though we had a design, sometimes when you step on site uh, and you determine how many lights you actually have, you're gonna have to manipulate, maneuver some stuff. And that's why that King Innovation Instalite is a great tool for that, because then you can just go plug in these lights uh, and we literally walked around the property for an hour and a half and put different lights in different areas so that we could find out exactly where we wanted to put those before we started digging holes and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, and because of that tool, we actually found some ways to get really creative and reduce, <laughs> sorry, and reduce some of the amounts of lights that we were using on the property because uh, we were just able to place uh, place and test those lights before we did any work. So it's a great tool, comes in all our kits, you get it with your tribe before you buy it light. So it's something that you definitely want to take advantage before you even start your project. Uh, when you order your kit, grab one light and go and play around. And even with that said, we went that day and we placed all our lights, we got everything wired, which I always try and do the first day is get everything wired, but we don't, um, uh, we don't bury anything because I want to see how those look at night first because we might have to go make some adjustments and that's exactly what I'm doing right here is um, we had some lights that really look good but we have such um, a cool unique kind of palm tree behind us uh, that we decided to put another light and the way we did that again is that we had our lights set we knew where we wanted to put them we placed them and we had to move them a couple feet to get the desired effect but then we took our our battery pack and took another light and put it in some different areas around that same tree and now we've got two lights that are going to be really highlighting this nice tree behind me so um, again test everything out the the night before so you can kind of get a real good idea of what lights you want where and then that first night just wire everything back to the transformer don't worry about burying anything that first day because you're probably going to want to make changes and that night go around see how things look move lights a foot or two here or there you'd be surprised how a foot here and there can sometimes make all the world a difference play with viewing angles which which side of the tree which side of the feature that you're lighting looks best so uh, and that's something you can easily do again with that with that insta light the battery pack because then you can just have a light in your hand and walk around everywhere it's easier to do that than when everything's wired but still take that extra step after you get everything wired go make sure everything looks the way you want uh, the whole purpose of this is you find a premium quality light you don't want to have to do this 
again or you don't want to have to do this over and over year after year so go and make sure you get it right the first time doesn't mean you can't add on doesn't mean you can't make it better uh, but you can get a real real good design just by going and testing it and it might be a cliche but um, seeing is believing sometimes you have to see it before uh, you can really understand what that effect's going to look like so test it with the king innovation Insulite. it comes in all our tribe before you buy it uh, offers as well as all our kits come with it because we want you guys to get the best design possible Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick minute and show you um, some cool things we did here for getting wire around. As you can kind of see behind me, I'm standing on a driveway that we weren't able to get wire from uh, this side of the property behind me over to this other garden bed area uh, without having to go all the way around the back of the house. And even then that wasn't really a possibility because um, there's a lot of concrete work and stuff. So what we actually did is, um, if you can see behind me here, we have our transformer. And what we did is we actually ran it up, um, and I'll try and show you this, but up the, uh, the downspout here and up the roof line. So it's actually, um, up above me there you can see where the gutter is we actually ran it all the way in the gutter to the back of the property here um, which is pretty cool and then we just dropped down at another gutter spot over here uh, that I'll try and show you um, but yeah so we just dropped it back down over here and then we ran our wire back to the front section where we need some lights and we were able to run more wire back there and kind of split our voltage load which was not really an issue on this property but it was just kind of a cool unique way uh, to get the wire uh, across to the other side of this driveway without having to bring in big heavy equipment and do tunneling underneath the driveway um, it's also a paving stone driveway um, but it's kind of concreted in too so we didn't want to mess with that too much um, and just by going over over above and atop uh, we were able to do it really easily. We also saved them a transformer. We didn't have to put another transformer in the back that still would have caused issues, um, but it probably saved them three to 400 bucks there. We had to run a little bit extra wire, maybe $25, $30 of extra wire. Um, but just by doing a simple little trick like that, which really didn't take that long, uh, we were able to save the homeowner some money, get light to uh, this beautiful garden area behind me, as well as to the rest of the property. Again, we're just stripping off roughly an inch of each of our wires to make our DBRY connections. And then with these, the way they work is there's two parts. There's a simple moret. Uh, it's not gel filled or anything, but that's going to fit into our gel filled tube. And we're going to take one wire from each of our strands and we're just gonna twist those together. And then we're gonna do the exact same with the other three remaining wires that we have. We're gonna twist those together. Throw our moret on them. And then once we've done that, that's where we use our waterproof gel filled tubes and these simply slide in you get them right to the end and then they just snap tight on the wire and those wires are not going to come out of there so on this project we're mounting a lot of lights up in the trees and kind of down lighting getting those lights up nice and high 20 25 feet up there shining through the branches so we can kind of create some shadowing down on the ground here so um, the thing with that is the, the wire for the fixtures we have is only, um, it's only about 10 feet long. So I don't want to have a big waterproof connector hanging halfway down the trees. Uh, one thing you can do if that's something you have is just go buy a junction box at, uh, you know, the Home Depot store or Lowe's or whatever it is. Um, and just put that connection in one of those just so you don't have to look at it. At least it hides it. Another option that we often use is these um, these shrink wrap connectors. Again, you can get them at any home improvement store. Um, what I like about them is they are gel filled here. So once they get, sorry, <laughs> be on me here, um, but they are gel filled. So once they heat up, the gel actually seals around the connection um, and they're very inconspicuous. So that's why I like using them. So um, we're gonna use them for this. So I've got my, my wire to my fixture. So I wanna make that a lot longer and then I can make my connections down in the ground and stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, um, 
got my wires, I'm just gonna slide my tube on because you need to get your tube on the wires first. Uh, so we got that on and one thing I do is I cut, if you can see here, I cut one of them a little bit shorter than the other and I'll show you why I do that. It's, it's basically so I can cheat and just use one of these as opposed to having to use two, um, which same as any of the connections, usually you have to make two for each fixture because you have two wires, but we're gonna cheat a little bit and I'll show you how. Um, so basically what I've done is with my wire that's going out into the ground, and my fixture wire, I have one longer and one shorter. So I'm gonna take the longer one and I'm gonna connect it with the shorter one. And I'm actually just gonna twist tie those up. Just twist them together uh, nice and good. And then I'm gonna just bend one of them. So it kind of looks like this, right? I don't know if you can see that. So I've got it uh, like this and I've just got it bent and then I'm gonna twist the other two together. Um, and I'll show you in a second why I do that. And then we're going to twist that is so that I can go now and I can bend these like this and the connections aren't going to be touching each other see how they're separated so they're not going to be touching each other inside the same um, inside the same shrink wrap connector they're both in there they're not touching something else you can do just to make sure is sometimes I'll um, I'll put some electrical tape just around those just to make sure those connections don't touch um, and then I'll go and I will shrink wrap that together so how you do that is very simple is you just need a, a torch of some kind and then you just uh, lightly warm that up and you watch it shrink you're going to be careful not to get too close and burn anything Make sure all the wires are still inside. Um, it's pretty hot afterwards, so give it a good little, um, I just try and seal it up a bit, but you can see the ooze is kinda coming out a little bit, so it's all waterproofed in there. And once it solidifies, it's pretty hard, and you are not pulling those wires apart. So uh, if you're doing any tree lighting or need to uh, hide some wire and extend it and make a pretty inconspicuous connection, uh, shrink wrap connectors is a really good way to go. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you guys got some great tips and I hope you guys take advantage of your own free video consultation where you can send me a few pictures of your property and I'm gonna get back to you with your own personalized video pre presentation with all kinds of tips and tools on how to go and light your own property. So to get that, go check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or just email me a few pictures of your property at cal at lightingdoctor.ca.